Oh hey there! Welcome to the Hustle Network. My name is Raylan and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my new gift that I bought myself. I know, it's not a new car, it's not a new phone or a new purse, but instead I got me a Husky rolling cart that's going to help me with my business. So it's really hard for me to figure out what I wanted to use, whether I wanted to use a caddy or whether I wanted to get a rolling cart. I looked on several things like Amazon, Harbor Freight, Home Depot, and it came down to this. I truly honestly wanted a rolling cart because I want something that I can roll everything in one. Not having a huge coat on in the winter time, two caddies, five foot tall, walking and kind of just it's just everywhere and trying to open up the key to the door it just wasn't working out for me and so i decided to purchase a fifty dollar fifty dollars is on sale right now a husky rolling cart you heard it rolling cart And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, something that I got from Home Depot. Basically, I've been going back and forth on figuring out what is the best tool for carrying my items for the Airbnb cleaning. I know I look a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's been a busy week so far. Um, that being said, I purchased one of these babies. Yes, this is um, the Husky, the 4-inch rolling tool tote. This was only 50 bucks. I actually got a really good deal on it. It was on sale. Cheaper than Amazon, I tell you that much. And the quality is great. So this thing does have one of these so you can roll it. I'm going to be putting some of my tools in here because when I say tools, I mean my cleaning supplies. Um, because I absolutely need it. And... Um, I had just been going back and forth for so long trying to figure out what was the right tool and of course I had to go with what's best for me. I was going to get the Husky bag and I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I went with the rolling cart. So here I can put you know some information if this were to ever get lost. The wheels look very much so durable. This is a Husky brand. does come with two pockets in the side, a couple pockets in the front. And then, of course, two on that side. And it's got a nice inside. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. So if you can see from here, I can put my brushes, my dusters, etc. And then the rest of it, I can kind of just stack my stuff in here nice and neat. But this is great because I can always put, like, my um, foot shoe covers, my hair covers, uh, just any kind of new, maybe, sponges that I have available. I can just keep handy right there. And I'm so excited, you guys. I am super excited because, you know, even though this whole thing, I'm looking forward to more so being an owner-operator, keeping things where I'm able to kind of send people out to do the jobs. A part of me really enjoys doing it, and a part of me right now is definitely needing... Um, to just kind of know what it takes to be successful in the Airbnb cleaning. Hands-on experience, I think, is the most important because how can I tell someone else to clean something if I don't even have experience doing it myself? So, like I said, I've got two separate caddies that I carry. Now I'll be able to put it all in one. Bit about what I had before. So before, I was carrying around this, um, tub that I got from Foreman Mills with messy towels everywhere. They're all sent they're all clean. Okay, this is where I would stash like my new stuff. So microfiber, dusters, toilet things, mops, magic erasers. Actually need this for home. Um, scrubbers. You get the point. 
that what I was actually carrying around was this, which is a picnic basket. And I can tell from how the bottom is reacting that uh, this just isn't for this. And the other one I got was a Libman caddy I got from Walmart, which I do like this caddy. It's very durable. But like I said, from going inside the, from going to the car, to inside the home, I need it all in one. So, let's see how this goes. This is a mess, this is a, a bed disinfectant that we use, so I'm gonna definitely put this in there because I, for the most part, I just do Airbnb cleanings. I don't do residential, um, I do do office. Um, I will do, um, sorry. So I also do commercial, but they usually have their own supplies and so I don't really have to do all that. Don't mind the tree in the background. <laughs> it's missing a few things. So, um, like my, like I said, my duster I can put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and go ahead and put that in there. I got some dish soap. This is great for like when I clean the tubs. Now, when I said I don't do residential, I do have one customer that I do do residential. It's a small studio. And I actually got an opportunity to design his home in the inside. And you're probably thinking like, girl, your stuff ain't even all that. I know, I know, but you know what? It's an opportunity. Um, this is shower cleaner. This is like vinegar and um, dish soap. This is air freshener that I use unstoppables in water with. This is comment. Um, this is um, multi-purpose cleaner, disinfectant, basically a disinfectant multi-purpose cleaner. Um, this is a huge thing of dish soap. I probably don't need to take this with me at this moment. Baby oil, I like to use this to shine the stainless steel. Oven cleaner, this was like some, like a Dollar Tree oven cleaner. I'm gonna probably take that one. I wanted to get the easy off, but it's been out at a lot of locations. Um, this is trash bags. I'm gonna put the trash bags in the inside. This is a two-in-one deluxe microfiber towel. I got this from, I mean mop. I got this from um, Family Dollar. I actually got a pretty nice microfiber mop from there for 16 bucks, and you can buy these. I usually just throw them in the washer after each house. Um, this is an essential oil. A couple of roll, rolls of paper towel. Vinegar. Pledge. This is a multi-surface cleaner also, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Um, I use this thing for like the showers if I need just a little, to take a little extra water off. I don't know how I'm going to be able to put that. There we go. Ah, this one I might have to keep on the outside. I got baking soda. Let's see if like, a marker is great for the labels. So this furniture polish, as you can see, I left this one out in the car, which I don't do, okay? Don't follow the steps I'm telling you when it comes to cleaning. Um, this one, I believe, is vinegar, water, I don't know. Um, I got a few of these copper sponges. Um, some furniture polish. And, um, of course, a broom and sweep. I do, I did run out of toilet cleaner. Usually toilet cleaner is oftentimes, um, used, or there underneath the toilets at the Airbnb places already. Um, but I definitely keep some spares. I mean, I definitely keep some in the trunk just in case. To work? Tomorrow. 
got the rest of the day off? Mm -hmm. I have work today. Why are you now? Should I take it right now? So these are my shoe covers. I'm going to put these in there also on the sides. I've got a couple of dusters. I'm probably going to throw a duster with a shoe cover. And then this cast aisle soap, I see why they you're supposed to bring out your supplies and not keep them in there. These thank you cards, not thank you cards, they're basically saying that the sheets have been changed. We have to put them down on each bed, so I'm going to put these in there also. Nice, pretty nice amount of stuff in here. Now, if I did decide to take out that, it definitely would have still given me some pretty nice room. And if I took out this, it would have gave me still some decent amount of room to keep stuff stalled in here. But I need this. Paper towel, I can probably just let it flow on the top like that. And then go ahead and add a couple of more of things in there. I got my microfiber towels in front. The thing that says that changed the cards. A few microfiber towels in here as well. Duster, shoe covers. This has never been used before. And then one of these. I will probably add some of this pure cast style soap lavender. This stuff works really, really good. I'm actually shocked, you guys. I've never used this in the sink before, um, but I had an issue with like trying to get the stainless steel uh, sink without any streaks or anything like that. And this stuff, like I literally put it on a microfiber towel, and like literally, I don't know if it like puts a coat on it or not, and I don't even know if that's what you're supposed to do. But this worked really, really great for that. Um, so I liked that, and. That is really it. So I'm really enjoying my new caddy. I mean, my new roller cart. I'm super duper excited about using this thing. Video, like I said, this is um, my new caddy that I purchased and I'm super excited about using it. And I honestly and truly feel like it's gonna work out very, very for what I need it for. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.